All right, this is John. I'm going to demonstrate on John uh, the effect of calf rolling on hip strength. So, John, if you could please lay down on your stomach. Yeah. What I'm going to do is test the strength of the hip extensor muscles. Hold your leg right there. Keep your knee bent. And hold it. Keep it up. Hold. So, John, how much do you weigh? 150. 150. So you should be able to hold a lot more pressure than this. Let me test the other side. Hold. Okay, hold it up there. He's not faking this. I'm only putting maybe 20 pounds of pressure through. The, uh, the hip extensors are very important for pro propulsion when we're running. And what I want to demonstrate is the, the effect of calf rolling on the activation of the hip extensors. The hip extensors frequently become inhibited when the calf muscles become tight, particularly the soleus muscle in the calf. So when the soleus is tight, neurologically the hip actually becomes weak. There's plenty of muscle mass here to withstand uh, any type of pressure I'm putting into his thigh, but his thigh is just not able to hold because the hip muscles are inhibited, most likely because of this calf. So John, we'll just test um, the effect of calf rolling on your left calf. And we'll use your right calf as a control. Cool. All right. So go ahead and uh, assume the position of the calf. Okay, so here John is rolling his Man. left soleus. Yeah, that's painful. <laughs> yeah. You can take your right foot and put it down on the floor and form kind of like a tripod between your two hands. Yeah, that's there you right. go. So oftentimes if the calf is tight, this rolling is um, somewhat painful if you're putting too much pressure through. So notice John has his toe pointed. He's going all the way down to the heel and about two thirds of the way up the calf. And this is isolating the soleus muscle. Now you can roll the cat. You can roll your leg inward a little bit, John, and that will get uh, yeah. the medial side of the soleus. That's less painful for me. But... Okay, so find the find the most painful spot, and then you just want to stay right on that spot. There, there you go. <laughs> so that painful area is painful because that is probably the tightest region of the soleus. Uh, so when the soleus is tight, it doesn't elongate properly when you take a step. And if it doesn't elongate properly, the stretch reflexes become inhibited, right causing the hip extensors to, weak, uh, to become weak. It's right there. Yeah. That's the real tender zone for that's me the, right That's now. the spot. Okay. Like if I go here, that's eh. Okay. Okay. So right it'd be fine, there. right? Yeah, right That's there. Painful. Okay. So we'll just spend maybe a minute or so here. That's probably good. Why don't we retest? Okay. So climb back up on the table there. Okay, so I'm going to retest the right side first. You didn't do anything to the right side. Hold in. <laughs> Come on. Hold. Come on, John. Hold. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's early. <laughs> You're not faking it, are you? No. Okay. Now this side, hold, hold. Wow, Scott, that's crazy. One more time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think I'm literally putting 10 times as much pressure through. I can't believe it. This left side. <laughs> so simply by increasing the flexibility of the soleus through one minute of rolling on this rolling pin, your hip extensors are now reactivated and now you could run much more efficiently because your hip hmm. is activating when it's supposed to. Right. And you can propel yourself and you can actually run faster like this. So this is a really cool technique. Uh, you can use a rolling pin, you can use a, a stainless steel water bottle to roll your calves. Whatever you have available that's a cylinder, you can put it down on the ground wherever you are and roll your calves for a minute before you run. And then probably repeat after you run because the calves will tighten slightly while you're running. So. This is an example of how the calf rolling activity reactivates the hip through these stretch reflex pathways. Thanks for watching. Thanks, John. No problem.